Hi, I'm Paul from Regal Ed, and today I'm here to show you some different colouring techniques for our CADRAM infill system. First of all, you need paper tissue to clean the glass, good quality glass cleaner. You will need the CADRAM infill part A and part B. Different pigments depending on the colours that you wish to create. Other products that we're going to use today is closed mixing cups, open mixing cups. We have two different sizes of pipettes, which are five mil and a three millimeter. Paint brushes. We have mixing bottles, small and large, and we have different size applicator tips. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to mix the infill colorant. And it's a 50-50 mixing ratio so I don't need that much material so I'm just going to mix 30 mil in total so I'm going to mix 15 mil to part A and I'm going to mix 15 mil of the part B I'm now going to use a violet pigment, so I'm gonna get a shake. I'm now going to drop a small amount of pigment into the mixture. And you can see there you don't need a lot of pigment, a couple of drops, depending on the depth of color that you wish to achieve, but a couple of drops is, is sufficient. I'm just going to shake that up in the closed mixing pot. Now you have open mixing pots, which I described earlier for smaller quantities. Closed mixing pots are great if you want to store material after you've, uh, after you've used it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll show you just how to, to infill a colour in a large area. So I'm going to take a five mil pipette just draw in the, the pigment into the tip. You can then flood the area that you wish to fill. Now, because the product's solvented, it does shrink slightly. So you need to make sure that it's, you have enough product in there. You can see just any air bubbles that you get included can be sucked back up using the pipette. Okay, we'll now go on to applying some different techniques. We'll first of all start with um, using the application bottles. Now, I've mixed this solution up earlier, but this application bottle allows you to, to apply, using a yellow tip, a very small amount of, of resin to do some creative work. So, you can... different effects in the resin. Okay, now we're just going to, to show you another technique using a paintbrush of merging two different colors together to create an effect. So we've applied a violet and a red resin and we've allowed that to dry for approximately five minutes. What we're going to do now is just use the brush to gently Merge the two colours. One of the techniques that you can do is you can slightly raise the glass to give you a shaded infill. I'm going to do this just by raising the glass slightly on some transport pads. And what this will do is allow the resin to naturally flow to one side of the design. So when I'm filling this piece in, you'll see the resin will automatically want to flow in one direction. When this dries, you, you get a very 
light effect on this side of the design and darker on this side. 